so it's live now. Uh, you know, all 500,000 people who watch this every single week, the drafters live are here. <laughs> I think they're all here right now, which is good. So, you know, we could probably do anything we want. And, and as long as we keep these numbers up, you know, we'll be good to go. But it's Drafters Live. It's episode six. It's we've shifted away from YouTube. We're back on Facebook. I know we're confusing you, but for specials, special events like the NFL draft, like we did last week, uh, we're going to probably do a little more on YouTube for that. But Facebook is our home and welcoming to our home for the first time. Sir Jimmy, uh, he's a big fan, probably our biggest fan, uh, The Draft is Live, and uh, we took a, a viewer away. This is like 90% of our audience <laughs> is now on the show instead of watching it, so uh, I'm glad glad you're here. Uh, how's it feel to be uh, to be on The Drafters Live? Uh, glad to be here, finally. Yes. It's, been a, <laughs> it's every man's dream to be on the chunk. <laughs> Thank you. I, you know, I appreciate that. Uh, you know, you've been waiting in the wings for a while and I was trying to find, I have. there was obviously last week, you know, we, we came to an agreement weeks ago that we were going to get you on, but uh, this is it, episode six, and we've got some topics. Uh, we also have Kristen, Vince, Blake, and myself. I am Justin. And we, you know, it's the chunk pod, chunk podcast. You know, we used to do podcasts, but uh, no, I'm kidding. We'll actually do more podcasts here recently or soon i guess i should say sports is not happening so we're not really doing a lot of that this is kind of our baby and uh it's every thursday night eight o'clock you can follow us anywhere at the chunk pod tonight's episode of the drafters live there's five of us there's three drafts we each get three picks and it's in the draft order as you see it tonight it's jimmy it goes Kristen, myself in third again i think this is the this might be like the fourth time or fifth time out yeah. of six episodes i'm in the third slot uh, in the middle a lot. Yeah, Vince is at four and Blake is at five. That's only for the first and third draft, but in the middle we'll switch it up. Um, we'll flip the draft orders so Blake will get first pick, then it'll go Vince, and it'll go backwards that way. So tonight's topics, we're going to start off with fruit. Uh, it's a pretty safe – I think we all eat fruit here. If you don't, um, you well, you probably wouldn't be around. You know, It's pretty – it's like a building block of life, I think, really, at the end of the day. And specifically, the ones that I draft uh, are probably the most pertinent. So just remember that when this draft's over, I already have the best ones. Uh, number two, uh, our second topic is the elements. Uh, for some reason, I stumbled across the periodic table of elements, and I had no choice to throw it in here. And uh, and I realized after the fact, finding 15, because 15 will be picked, finding 15 and making a list of them, and coming up with a reason why you put it on your list, uh, it was a it was a difficult time. Did you guys have being a tough part of it? <laughs> yeah, I, was like, I think I got a text from everybody that was like, "Yo, this is we're really doing this." So, <laughs> yes, we are doing it. It's going to be our uh, second draft of the night, and the final draft will be animals. I'm super excited for that one. I'm a big uh, animal That's guy. Exciting. If you've watched the pro pr pr prior previous episode, whatever p word you want to use. Uh, we did superpowers, and one of mine was I want to be able to talk to animals. So, you know, uh, obviously, what I pick is is you know it's inside. I'm just I'm just lobbying for myself as the host. I'm I can do that. So, uh, but let's before we get into this week's episode, let me wrap up last week's NFL draft special. If you were on YouTube and you watched us uh, over there, thank you. Uh, I probably will post the full episode over here on this Facebook page um, in its entirety, so you can watch that there too. Um, but I have not done that yet um, because that's the price you pay. You have to go to YouTube to get it early. Uh, okay, so last week the topics were all NFL draft related or NFL related in general. Uh, we did the biggest bust, biggest draft bust, and uh, David wound up winning that one. Uh, I wouldn't say handily because there were a lot of uh, – he just picked a lot of names that people recognized. But he wound up winning with quarterback Johnny Manziel, quarterback Mark Sanchez, and quarterback Robert Griffin III, who coincidentally won Rookie of the Year. But, yeah, no big deal. Uh, you guys recognize those names, and you voted for them. So that's that as Kristen leaves the chat. Uh, but that's okay. We'll be all right. Because your dog pooped, and I have to go clean it up. Nice. Okay, yeah, you just say that. That's fine. So the dog <laughs> <laughs> The dog pooped. It's all good. Uh, all right. So, uh, so, yeah, David wound up winning that one, and I – in the second round, took the well, top prize, which was biggest or best to never win the Super Bowl. And the best to never win the Super Bowl, my squad, was Dan Marino, which obviously when you think of people who didn't win the Super Bowl, Dan Marino is one of the first people to come to mind. 
Uh, wide receiver Larry Fitzgerald. He was like the third or fourth wide receiver off the board. But to me, I would have picked him. I would have picked him number one overall. Larry Fitzgerald is a legend. And Brian Urlacher. Yeah. I, I don't like the Bears, but I had to throw him one. So I took that one. And then the final one, best jerseys. When I was making this graphic, if you saw this graphic anywhere, um, obviously out there, you, you saw it. If you saw it, if you follow at the Chunk Pod on Instagram, Twitter, uh, or right here on Facebook. The one that pops out the most is Lynch's, and I knew it right when I was making it. It's his – he's got just jerseys that pop in your face, and uh, which – that out of context sounds gross. But he's got the powder blue Chargers jerseys. He's got the color rush Seattle Seahawks like lime green jerseys, and, and he wound up picking your – Vince, your Carolina blue, Carolina Panthers jerseys, which you say you're not even really that big of a fan of. I, I'm not a big fan of it. I mean, I'm looking at it right now in my closet. <laughs> But I'm not I don't a fan, but this Jake Delhomme jersey in my closet is just fantastic. It was Cam Newton, but oh, okay. rest in peace to his soul. Yeah. <laughs> That's true. Uh, okay, but yeah, no, Lynch wound up winning just on eye appeal alone for best jerseys, but um, it could have been anybody. I know Jimmy didn't actually vote for him. He wound up he wound up taking literally just the darkest of jerseys you could possibly find. Um, and he said he, he's like my opinion. Yeah, no, it's fine. It's your pick. You can do what you want with it, but. Uh, so, so to wrap it up, David, myself, and Lynch all walked away with a win last week, and uh, allegedly we're keeping tabs. But I mean, I'm just having fun. Oh. I feel like, I feel like if we keep tabs though, and, I, and and we have the numbers somewhere. I think Lynch has probably got a little black book somewhere he's writing these down in. But if we keep the tabs, uh, I feel like it kind of changes people's mindset when you come in and draft. You know what I mean? Yeah. I don't want I don't yeah. want to play to the people. <laughs> Okay, I do like I like having a diverse squad. At the end of the day, I want to have three different things that kind of check all the boxes. But I'll usually, if I have a weird pick, and I and I, I usually pick it on the last one, and no matter what, I try not to play to the people. So remember that, Blake, when you're drafting, stop playing to the people. Blake's yeah. sleeping right now. <laughs> uh, no, okay, I, I want to start this draft, but Kristen has the second pick overall. Oh, oh. oh okay, here we go. There she is. <laughs> How was it? How was it? It smells like dog poop. Oh, and like a little extra hint of nacho cheese sauce. Because oh, yes. she got the leftover Taco Bell. She got a hold of the Taco Bell. Uh, in the chat right now, Don says, did you all study for this? Uh, I did. I mean, just making this list, this is my elaborate list that I can't hold up for too long because they'll screenshot it and steal all of my picks. But I, I'm prepared. I think we all are. I mean, you have... We have in our idea the best ideal team you can make, but we're just going to jump right into it. We are going to start this one off with Fruit and Jimmy. This is your first time on the Drafters Live, and you have first overall pick. You have the – you can pick any Don't fruit. You're up. in the produce department right now. Where are you walking, <laughs> all right? You're going to grab any fruit in there. What do you grab? Well, I got to go with this overall, the top one overall, because I have one every single day, and – I have to go bananas. Bananas. Ah, All right. I knew it. Classic. Yeah, Kristen says so classic, good. but she's just super not a fan. Hate bananas. <laughs> <laughs> classic. But it is. I, I think <laughs> looking this up, though, bananas, I think, is the most like widely consumed fruit in like the entire planet. Yeah. So that's a I good I mean, pick. I do know people that don't eat them, but. Oh, I yeah. Mean, yeah. Mm-hmm. I eat like one a year so that I don't get the one of the Charlie horses like in the back here. Like oh, so yeah. I get yeah, my there's... I get some potassium in. Yeah, oh it. chill, yeah. stop, stop. That's a teaser oh. for some elements. <laughs> All right, relax. All right. That that's... is an element. Chill out. Oh my god. <laughs> okay. Uh... <laughs> okay. Sorry. All right, Kristen, bananas are off the board. You're obviously upset about that. Uh so oh, what yeah. are you picking? I'm gonna go with Star fruit. It's my favorite. What? Sleeper. Fruit. You pick a sleeper in the first round? Yeah, I just was really nervous that someone else was going to take it. So. Okay. Well, I can tell you it really wasn't like on my it. list. It's not on my list either. Oh, all right. Thanks, friends. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, okay. So, but it was on my. Don't worry. It was? Sweet. All right, Blake. <laughs> Blake's like, you cultured swine. Yeah. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, okay, so obviously banana and starfruit are gone. I uh, the one at the top of my board is still there. Obviously, uh, banana was up there, but it wasn't the top. And Ugh. I think it's doctor recommended. 
It's pretty much you eat this every single day. It'll keep the doctor. Well, wait, wait, would the doctor recommend it if it kept the doctor away, though? I don't think Probably it would. Not. No, because everyone no. wants some money. Yeah, that's true. The doctor hates them. <laughs> I love them. I'll take the apple. So I'll be picking Classic choice. the apple. It really is. I mean, when I think of fruit, it's it's Apple Town. Apple What's your go-to apple, though? Yeah. Oh, a, see, now this is I, I I grew up just the tart guy, so I wanted that Granny Smith. Um, plus, there green's a great color. I find the red ones sometimes are just too mushy. Red delicious. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah. I, I if I had to pick, I mean, I'd probably pick the Granny Smith, but. Okay. Honey crisp. Yeah. Same. Honey crisp all the way. Yeah. yeah okay. All right. Best. <laughs> okay. Uh, Vince, you're up. Banana, star fruit, and apples are off the board. By the way, Don on Facebook knew that Jimmy would pick uh, bananas first pick. And it may have something to do with the fact that they are related. It's my own mother. <laughs> there <so>. it is. <laughs> <laughs> She's like, yeah, he, he does like bananas. All right. Uh, Vince, you're up, man. All right. So I'm going to have to go with a pear for bananas, and it's going to be strawberries. Okay, nice. so you went with the pear. Um, yes, yes, a pear. No, a pear. No, uh, no, you're going to strawberries then? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> all right. You said pear, and I was like, wow, all right, first round. Uh, no. Okay. <laughs> so you're picking strawberry. That's a classic. Obviously, you can do a lot with that one. You could dip it in chocolate, or you could not dip it in chocolate. So very diverse. Uh, no. <laughs> <laughs> I normally, I, I normally just do. Like just straight up strawberries or whipped cream. Nice. Hey, Jimmy, uh, your mom's in the chat. My mom just jumped in and said, I only eat Granny Smith apples. So, ooh, there might be a battle of moms. I don't know what's going on now. <laughs> I'm going to buy your mom a honey crisp apple. Yeah, no, it is weird. Like, there's so many different apples, but to, I mean, just throw me an apple. I'll eat it. I don't even, I don't even, I won't know yeah. what it is unless it's obviously a green or a different color, but I'll eat it. Uh, Okay. Is this green flavor? Yes. <laughs> so that's, how I, that's how I categorize it. Uh, Blake, you have the first back to back, and banana, starfruit, apple, and strawberry are off the list. Some heavy hitters there. What do you want for that back to back? It's uh, one of my favorite flavored smoothies. I'm going to go with mango. Mango. Oh. All right. Let that mango. Yes. Let that mango. <laughs> All right. So then you have, you obviously have mango. You have one more pick, though. You got a back to back. Mm hmm. Mango is not on my list, kiwi. by the way. Sorry. What? I'm going to have to go with the, with the uh, kiwi. Kiwi. This man is exotic. Mm -hmm. Interesting. Wow. Exotic there, huh? Ex most expensive fruits. <laughs> <laughs> this guy's shop at the fresh crazy. market, okay? Or is it Whole Foods? Oh, which one's more expensive? Put it in the chat. <laughs> He's like, <laughs> no, okay. Trader Joe's. Uh, Trader Joe's. Okay. That's a good back-to-back. -back. Man mango and kiwi. I don't, you know. I, I don't think none of those were on my list though, but uh Vince, strawberry, what are you following it up with? I'm going another berry, and I'm definitely going not raspberry, but blueberry. Mmm. Big fan. Mm, you get one more, you're gonna have the wild berry group, and it's gonna be fantastic. <laughs> All right. Bird strawberries. Loves the blueberries. Yes, our bird is a big fan of the blueberries. Okay, so strawberry, blueberry. Uh, wait, it's my pick right now. I'm like trying to recap myself. Uh, all right. So apple is what I started with, and I'm glad to see. God, there's too many things still on the board that are like really good. I think I'm going to go with watermelon. I'm going mm. to pick the watermelon. For some reason, so, I felt okay. like Kristen wasn't going to let me get that one on the way back. So Nope, I was not. <laughs> I'm, okay, so I got apple and watermelon. Uh, you could have had, I mean, watermelon's like a, t a top tier fruit. You could have had it in the first round. What happened? I wasn't willing to chance star fruit. Okay, all right, all right. So you, how you, cause you have star fruit. What do you want next? I'm going to go with an orange. It's a classic orange. Okay. Big fan. Big fan. Ooh. Okay. Like what kind of flavors. orange? No, I'm kidding. Yeah. Uh, oh. <laughs> Clementine. No. Uh, the no. round ones. <laughs> yeah, yes. I know. Is there any really... kind? Oh, okay. I don't know. No one's picking grapefruit, right? Just so we're clear, I just feel like grapefruits taste like poison. Are we all in agreement? No. No grapefruit. I don't. Vince I, I, is I don't like... want to give away my pick. All right, all right. I don't <laughs> know. Like, I won't say anything. <laughs> I will. I maybe at the end of this. Like, but... I was making my pick like that. Well, people pour sugar on it sometimes, and then it's uh, less. 
We just My eat a sweeter put fruit. Brown sugar on it. Oh my gosh. <laughs> All right, uh, Jimmy, you started off with banana, and now with what's left, you have a back-to-back to wrap up your squad. Mm. How are you finishing this one up? This is tough. Um, There's still so many good ones out there. I think my next pick, I'm going to go with pineapple. You bastard. Ooh, nice. You know what? I picked watermelon. Wow. I picked watermelon knowing <laughs> I wouldn't be able to get that back, hoping pineapple would have fallen back to me, but my goodness. That's one of my other go-to fruits with banana. It's my favorite juice. Pineapple juice. I will drink that crap all day long. Like, I'm just saying. On wax night, though. Only on wax Only night. Only on wax night. Rest <laughs> in peace. The, uh, the Publix waxing the floors. Oh, God. Uh, Not the other wax night. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, the other wax nights, too. She was like this. Mm. No, 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 no. I'm no. a little concerned. <laughs> yeah. Uh, all right, Jimmy. That's, that's a damn good squad. Pineapples, bananas. And you have one more pick. And this next one, you could easily steal at any grocery store, and that's going to be grapes. You bastard. Oh. Jimmy wins, man. I don't, I don't see a scenario where any of us come out <laughs> on so good. So. Grape, grapes are amazing. Grapes what are kind so- of grapes? Oh, my God. I'm more of a purple grapes fan than I don't like the white traditional grapes. traditional Concord? How about those <laughs> cotton candy grapes? Oh, all right. This man's <laughs> – oh, you want the mutated, <laughs> genetically <Serious>. modified <laughs> – yeah, go take your steroids somewhere else. I don't think so. With your kiwis and your mango. <laughs> yeah, <get out> <laughs> uh, all right, that's a good pick, man. I, I'm, a, I'm a big fan of Jimmy's team. Uh, all right, frozen Kristen. grapes, though. Yeah, that's <laughs> frozen. That's all right. You got to try it out. Frozen grapes are amazing. I don't want the pits, though. I don't want any of the pit action. So if I could just pass on that. Uh, Reggie wants to know if anybody's going to pick the thornberry. Nigel. <laughs> Oh. Nigel Thornberry here. <laughs> that was one of the 90s shows. Oh, yeah. Uh, Reggie wants to know what was named first, the color orange or the fruit? Hmm. Whoa. That's tough. We'll have to find Probably out next week. <laughs> uh, yeah, I don't have to ask him. Uh, there's probably a conspiracy theory behind it somewhere. Uh, all right. Speaking of oranges, Kristen, your team is Starfruit Oranges. And what? Mm. I'm at the bottom of the barrel on my list right now. I want to pick another citrus fruit, but I won't. Mm. Um, I'm going to go with peach. Peach. That's that's a classic. That one I actually, like peaches. Yeah, there's a lot, of, so good. a lot of flavor. To me, sometimes when I think of Outside's fruit. Outside's a little weird. Yeah, when I think of fruit, I sometimes just think of like what candy, like what, what fruit flavor translates to candy well. And peach, I think, does a pretty good job. Those like peach O's. Oh, I love those the peach like O's. gummy ones. Those are pretty good. Mm-hmm. So. Not bad. Almost picked some up today. Mm. All right. Mm. <laughs> okay. All right. Uh, I have apples. I have watermelons. Oh, man. I'm going to pick because, like I said, I picked the Granny Smith because it's tart. And there is anything more tartar, which, by the way, I'm not talking about the sauce, and I don't even think that's a real word. I'm wow. picking lemon. I'm picking the lemon. <laughs> A good one. You can uh, you can do so much with it. I mean, not a lot of people eat right into it or eat the entire thing like Vince does at the restaurants. He just eats the whole thing, <laughs> rind and all. <laughs> just put him out there. Uh, I'm just it's saying. Like, Come on. That's right. This guy down right down here, he eats the whole lemon and doesn't hold back. Uh, okay. Isn't he's not wasteful. He's not. Well, not I appreciate that. A lot of people would zest that. You just say no. I'm gonna swallow it whole. Uh, okay. Pause. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. Okay. All, right. All right, Vince. Uh, strawberry, blueberry, and there are some more berries out there, but uh, there are. What there you are. Want? What you want? Um, this is tough. This is really tough. You guys had some solid picks. Mm. I blame Jimmy. I think it's pronounced uh, acai. Oh, oh, yeah. Ooh, interesting. I'm definitely Fancy. going there. Yeah, it's fancy. Mm-hmm. And I get to draw the little squiggle above the word. So when I write it, that's cool. Um, <laughs> that's cool. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. The little uh, okay. That's a good that's squad. Cool. That's a good squad. I actually would have, I, I would have, that looks like a player that would have got drafted by Blake, though, considering his super exotic lineup that he wanted to make. I'm sure he's probably de- I devastated. <laughs> I know, he's off the board. Blake, how do you want to finish your squad of mango kiwi? My last fruit. Well, you can add these topped off in some of your drinks uh, to make it look a little bit nicer. Uh, I'm going to go with the cherry. Oh, I thought you were going to say the olive. 
Uh, but yeah, cherries are good too. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Which actually, I looked it up. I think olive might be considered a fruit. Is that a thing? Are beans? It's got a pit. Yeah. Olives have a pit. I think that classifies them. Technically, they could be a fruit. But I don't know. That's so another story. Mm. I don't want to take it away. Yeah, tomatoes are a fruit technically too. But like if somebody would have picked that, I probably would have yelled at you. Uh, but no, I get it. That's a good squad. Good little squad there. And uh, we'll throw that on there. The cherry. So you have mango, kiwi, and cherry. Shirley Vince? Temple. Shirley Temples have che- wait. No, what is it? Grenadine is what? It, that's like the fake cherry sauce. Is that what that is? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. That stuff's pretty good though. In a soda, you get that. On the it side. is crack. <laughs> uh, Vince has strawberry, blueberry, and acai. Uh, I think that's how you say yes. it. Uh, Thirty-seven. We're gonna, we're gonna go over that later. <laughs> I'm gonna have to Google search how to say acai. Uh, all right. <laughs> I have apple, watermelon, and lemon. Kristen has first round draft pick starfruit, orange, and peach. And Jimmy, I listen, I don't want to sway any votes here, but damn it, that's a good squad. Banana, pineapple, and grapes. So this is made a bit I mean, there's a this was, this was top heavy, and anybody I think any of us could have made this this squad that he did. But you know, like, this is I mean, usually there's sometimes they'll you'll get the first pick in the draft and it's like a it's like a cakewalk. But you earned this one, I think, from from start, top to bottom. But just don't vote for him is what I'm trying to tell you. Don't vote for him. Vote for the votes that matter. It's the yes. votes that matter. <laughs> votes. Uh, okay, so round two. This is when it's going to get just super weird. Uh, we did elements. Uh, the uh, periodic table of elements. Remember when we learned that or at least tried to learn that in school? I know the first 10 by heart. <laughs> oh, please do, please do tell. I can't. Oh, see, now you're on the spot. I didn't want to do that for you. <laughs> The only uh, ones I know. All right. Uh, yeah, you don't want to give them all away. That would be too much. Uh, okay, so let me yeah. write down this draft order here. So Blake is going to start this round off. I got to be honest. I'm genuinely curious to see the what is the first element off the board. Uh, Blake, you're on the clock, man. Make it happen. Um, I'm going to have to go with the most basic one. It's a necessity of life. It's all around us. We breathe it in. Oxygen. Mm, Classic. All right. Who needs it? Yeah, uh, uh, we all do. Yeah, I guess we all do. Uh, okay, oxygen. That's. I mean, that's pretty obvious. Obviously, that's a good one. I can't really, can't really knock it. Uh, yeah, we, yeah it's essential. All right, Vince, spice it up a little bit, man. What do you got? So, let's just say I'm gonna go with I am titanium. Mm. I was I was nice. gonna sing it, but nice. okay, my voice isn't up to it. No, but. it's good. It's a it's a good song, and to Fancy. me. <laughs> to me, it's like the top echelon of every product. You could just be like, isn't it like there's like a Schick titanium, there's like yeah. a, a, a Titleist titanium, or like you know, every golf club has a Four titanium. Focus titanium. Yeah, there's a titanium. <laughs> like literally, you just say, like I don't even know. Like I'm dr- I'm drinking out of this, you know, Dasani titanium. You know, it's got hints of oh. uh, metal in it. It's not good for you at all. Yes. But <laughs> it's the top of the line. It's expensive, and you drink it. Uh, okay, that's good. Solid one, and see now this is where I this is where the being in the third spot. I just don't like it. I mean, obviously, oxygen is a good pick, but oh. I'm just looking at this, and I and I, what's funny is I made a little <laughs> note. I made a little note next to every single one to just like quickly justify um, why I picked it or why I might pick it. I think I'm going to start with I'm going to start with hydrogen, okay? Oh, and oh. on paper. On paper, that's not going to look good. But when you realize that, like, basically the majority of the universe is made of it, like, I'm talking like, it's like, is it like 75 or like 90%? I think of the entire universe is hydrogen. Yeah. I don't know. I, I don't want to get too scientific here, but upon my research. Scientific. Uh, you did research for this? Uh, I wrote a, I wrote a note next to it that just said the freaking universe. So uh, I'm going to take hydrogen. Note. And if you don't like it, you'll probably just die without it. So, well, I think a lot of this stuff. A lot yeah, of this stuff. Yeah, so. If it makes you feel better, it was second on my list. There, thank you. Yeah, it was second so, on mine you. too. Yeah. All right. I don't think it was on my, on my list. Oh, well, that's embarrassing. Ooh. No. <laughs> okay. Uh, well, speaking of you, you're up on the clock right now. What element are you going to go for? Um, I'm going to go with plutonium. Oh my! Oh. 
Oh my. Um, for multiple reasons. First of all, Pluto, obviously. Um, and second of all, it was featured in the classic trilogy, Back to the Future. <laughs> And that was oh a God. personal dig at my husband. Yes, that's great. No, good. Obviously a good pick. Uh, can I ask you, when was the first time you saw those movies? Like, just like to finish this, you know, about, <laughs> how, one. about how long ago? How old were you? Uh, pretty. Uh, like four days ago. Yeah, about four days ago. <laughs> she finally old. finished the Back to the Future se <laughs> like series. And now she's already like, yeah, I'm going to just start referencing it. Uh, plutonium. That's good. <laughs> obviously, it you know powers the flux capacitor, which enables you to time travel. So it's obviously a very good, uh, very good pick there. So, Jimmy, all right, you get the Excellent. first back to back. Uh, but wait, before you go, I'm going to cut you off. Lint is in the chat and he doesn't want to stay long. He just wants to know, because he's not a team player, uh, he just wants to know. Who won last week? And I can tell you that the biggest bust was David. Uh, best to never win a Super Bowl was myself. And the yes, Lynch, you did win the jerseys like we all predicted. All right, go away. Get out of here. You smell. All right, Jimmy. <laughs> you don't Smelly. actually smell. I don't smell them. Uh, if I did, there'd be a problem. Uh, okay, elements. Jimmy, you get the back-to-back. -back, so I want to see. You got two picks. Where are you going? So the number one on my list is still there. Oh, all right. So I got to go for it. And so it's the most important thing to living things. Okay. That being carbon. Ah, oh. there you go. Okay. That's good. That's good. Isn't that like what diamonds are made out of? Uh, says my notes here. <laughs> Says my notes here. You did actual research for look, this. This guy did a just, book report. I didn't just look at the words. I wanted to have a little backstory. Okay, this is a learning process for not just me, but everyone who's watching. Okay, carbon, like diamonds are made up of like 100% carbon. Like it's just hard carbon. That's why well, I, I hope everyone's fact checking you too. Yeah, just also to make don't sure. Google that, please. Thank you. <laughs> uh, good pick, Jimmy. You have carbon. What else do you want here? Well, I'm going to go with the third one on my list. And I just looked up this fact, so I didn't have this <laughs> written <it> down. <laughs> <laughs> well. But 78% of the atmosphere is made up of it. And that is nitrogen. Okay. Nice. All right. Well, cool. Thanks, Jimmy, for taking all my picks. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> all right. That's not a bad pick. That's a good back-to-back -back there. Uh, Kristen, plutonium was your first round pick. Where are you following that one up with? Um, I'm going to go with helium. Ooh, balloons. Helium, I think, is fun. You know, balloons. Um, I'm not, uh, I'm not endorsing inhaling helium, but funny things happen. Mm, I've never do done that. it. I don't do drugs. Yes, you have. <laughs> we know you haven't. You yeah, no, have I do. Your Is your studio. mom still watching? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, listen, obviously helium, I, I mess around, but now, like, as I get older, I do it, and I, I get, like, the worst headache. Like, young, when I was young, I used to be able to do it and just make lots of weird noises, obviously, because that's what it does to your voice, but I get headaches. I get real hot in the face. How often are you doing this? Uh, more often than I'm willing to admit. Uh, well, that, just hey, let's, just say, let's just say there's a reason why there's a shortage, so take that, party city. Uh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> so I started off I started off mine uh, with hydrogen and now that that one's out of the way I can get a little more let me cross off helium there that was pretty high up there you jerk uh, okay I wrote down this one uh, and I didn't really write anything else after that this is the only one I didn't really have anything else because it's gold and that's all I have to say is it's gold I mean like what else do you want yeah. it's you know it's it's literally doesn't it I mean, you al would. allegedly, it's the foundation <laughs> of our, uh, our our treasury, right? Isn't that like our, our money is, you know, I don't know. I, see, I didn't really research that part, but uh, it's pretty much yeah. how money works, right? I think it needs an explanation. It's gold. It's gold. I mean, listen, it's freaking <laughs> gold. Everyone's wearing it, right? Look at uh -huh. this. This is... Uh, this is plastic. Uh, it's a plastic ring. But if I if it was, it would have been gold. If I uh, silicone. Yeah, silicone. Sorry. I mean, Which, have you seen gold member? That's that's gold. It's gold. <laughs> okay, so I got gold, and that looks really good on paper, and I'm really happy with it. So does titanium, though. So Vince, how are you following up titanium? Um, so let's talk about the human body a little bit. Oh boy. Uh, yeah, we're talking anatomy. Um, no, so the human body can't live without sodium. Um, mm. it helps you 
contract your muscles yeah. and your muscle fibers. Damn it. And it makes everything taste better. Just sprinkle a little of that sweet, sweet <laughs> sodium. <laughs> with the, with the help, answer have a question? Right. With the help of chloride, I think it's, it's sodium chloride, I think is what salt is. But yes, give me all the salt. I'll give you sodium. <laughs> Fantastic pick. Uh, all right, Blake, you get the back-to-back to wrap up your squad. Oxygen is number one. How do you follow that up? That's like, I mean, come on. That's like the goat element right there. Well, this, one this. of. There's some, you know, it's tough. I'm going to have to go with the element that is in one of the longest lasting batteries. I'm going to have to go with lithium. Oh, I think you're going to say energizer. Right. Uh, no, lithium's good. Yeah, that works. Energizer's not an element. I know, but it's this, come on, it's the longest lasting battery. Uh, <laughs> okay. You're not endorsing them. Uh, yes, we are actually getting a, oh, you guys aren't. Sorry, Sponsored nobody's by. getting a paycheck. Uh, <laughs> oxygen, lithium, and to wrap up the squad of Blake's elements, what do we got? Yeah, I found out a couple of interesting facts about this element. Uh, okay. I think it was like half an hour before I got on here. Procrastinator, um, I love it. What? It is with uh, burst photos and um, it's also like a gas that's in like the uh, fluorescent light bulbs. Wait, before you Z- guess, I'm going to punch you if you say it, but just keep going. And it's <laughs> xenon. Oh, xenon. All right, we, have, all right, we yeah. have different things. Never mind. That's good. You can have that one. <laughs> Isn't Xenon like also like a, a show on Disney Channel, like a kids show? It was a Disney <laughs> Channel original movie, so slow down. Oh, Disney Channel. Yeah, there was something girl from Xenon. She didn't have a belly button. I don't know. It was, um, maybe no. I'm blending shows together. Uh, no, mean, it's good. Xenon, it's that yeah. looks It looks cool. It would be an awesome name for somebody who might be having a kid soon. Um, Xenon would have been pretty sweet. Um, I'm going to add that to the list of potential baby names. Uh, Vince. I already crossed it off. Ah, oh, damn it. All right. Uh, Vince, you have titanium, you have sodium to wrap up your squad. All right. So we're going to stay with the human body and I'm going to say calcium, um, just mm. because it's mm. necessary for all forms of life and, uh, it coagulates our blood too. Doesn't it, doesn't it just, Jeez. doesn't it do things to your bones too? Is that what, is that the, is that the bone? Yeah, I mean, yeah. Oh, yeah. So with good. milk. Yeah, that's, no. that's calcium and milk are the same thing. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> I'm learning so much today. Yes, this is fantastic. Uh, that's a good squad, and uh, yeah, I, I don't know how to, how to combat that. I have hydrogen. I have gold. That's how I'll combat it. Maybe what other shiny metal will I get? Uh, there's some other good ones, obviously, uh, but I won't, nah. <laughs> I, I won't pick it. I'm going to go a little different. I'm going to go off the wall, and everything that I read... Okay, to the, to the layman's, layman's, like, le, is it layman? That's like, I can just say layman, right? To the layman, Krypton is obviously where Superman was born. Let's be real. Uh, he was born there. It, you can't dispute that fact. Uh, and Kryptonite is also his weakness. So it's also like, you know, it's a, it's a, you, you take the pluses with the minuses. But from what I understand in my 10 seconds of research in this, mm. It's also what they, it's a big component in freaking lasers, freaking laser beams. Hmm. Okay. So interesting. show me a laser beam that doesn't have some Krypton in it and I'll show you a fake laser beam. So there you go. I'm going to take, uh, I'm going to take Krypton for the win. And I, if anybody disputes that fact, I'll get my man Superman to uh, handle the business. <laughs> uh, that being said, Kristen, plutonium. Well, I helium. was going to pick. Krypton. No, you but... weren't. Get out of here. Were you yes, really? I was. Oh my <laughs> goodness. That's awesome. All right. Anyway, I thought I was going to get away with having my top three choices, but you ruined that for me. Um, I'm going to go with platinum. Oh, that's see now. Look, I I wrote titanium on my list, and then I went farther down the periodic table and saw platinum, and I was like, wait, is platinum better than titanium? Isn't that like? Mm. No, platinum's better than gold. No, but I'm saying like, like, I think I'm like the mean? scale of like, obviously precious right. metals as far like jewelry wise, platinum is like, it's over everything, yeah, it's, isn't it? Yeah, for sure. Mm. That's a good pick. That's a good pick. But our, I mean, I don't think a lot of these, uh, I, I don't want to offend anybody, but these older people, you know, they're older than me. Uh, I think they like the gold, and I think that's how it goes. I mean, it's true. Any, the classic. Well, I like the platinum, and you didn't get the memo. Okay, all right, mm. millennial. <laughs> uh, all right, 
Platinum goes to Kristen and Jimmy. Uh, Platinum's off the board. What are you going to do here? You have carbon. You have nitrogen. Where are you yeah, at? And this is actually a tough choice because I'm like between three. <laughs> All right. But, you know, I'm going to go with this. It's not at the top of my list, but I think it's a pretty uh, badass element. Uh-oh. Uh, it's the only metal that's liquid at room temperature. Oh, my man. I was going to do uh -oh. it. And I'm going to do mercury. Ooh, that's good. Okay. That's good. Mercury poisoning. Solid. Fantastic. Uh, no, it's 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 good. Somehow it gets into fish, but listen, when it's not in fish, it looks really cool in a thermometer. Isn't that, or no, is it thermostat? Not, not a mometer. A stat. <laughs> a mometer. <laughs> not a mometer. Oh my gosh. Uh, Kristen, so how's your mometer? <laughs> yeah, what's my mom, mom Great. Uh, yeah, okay, great. so to wrap this up real quick, uh, and obviously, I don't know how I'm going to put these. I don't think I'm going to do a graphic for these elements. Maybe I'll do, I'll, I'll pull do the, the draw. I'll, yeah, pull the square. Square. Yeah. I'll pull the squares yeah. out for, for the elements. You but um, You got to do a graphic for mercury. Oh, yeah. It's just, just liquid metal. Shiny <laughs> liquid. <laughs> Uh, okay, uh, Blake has oxygen, lithium, and xenon. Just an awesome name, by the way. I can't uh, can't get around that. Uh, Vince has titanium, sodium, calcium. I have hydrogen, gold, and krypton. And Kristen has plutonium, helium, platinum. I spelled that wrong. I don't know. I was writing really fast. This has platworm. Uh, okay, Ooh. and two. <laughs> Jimmy has carbon. Nitrogen and mercury. That's a pretty solid squad. Listen, for Jimmy's first time, he's got he's got a decent squad going here. He, he's yeah, he, I did some probably. studying. You know what's good is he's seen the intricacies. Obviously, from being a viewer for so long, he's like he knows when to strike, what to uh, pick the you know what's what's hot. That's a decent pick. So I'm okay. probably the only one that watches for a full hour every every week. Yes, and the numbers show that the Nielsen ratings have <laughs> come back. Literally, oh my god. I couldn't Jimmy be Burger's the first house. like today. The Jimmy, Jimmy Burger. <laughs> like, there's, there's a red dot on the on the map on the planet, and there's only one, and it's right where Jimmy's living, and that's it. That's it. <laughs> uh, okay. Uh, before we get into the last category, which is animals, and I'm super excited for this one. Lynch in the chat says, "Where did you get your haircut, Doyle? Some of us have been looking a little rough out here." By the way, I got a haircut, which you wouldn't notice. Jimmy also got a haircut. Um, yeah. I don't know why he didn't mention you. You're you just you got a pretty clean cut there as well. I was waiting for it. Yeah, ridiculous. Um, but no, I uh, I got a friend of a friend who uh, was I was in, at the in laws' house. I didn't know who she was, but she just came in, did my hair, and that was it. There was no questions did asked. Did your hair? Did you? she did the old hair? Yes, that's what that right. isn't that. That's a verb now. Doing hair, right? I guess. right? I guess. In the, on the dining room table, just yeah. There was hair right everywhere. The, where we eat, right where, where we eat. eat. That's, His yeah. hair was everywhere. <laughs> Ridiculous. It's fine. They're like, you want a tattoo after too? Yeah. Uh, okay, hey man, that's so, not seasoning. That's a, that's a good idea. So Lynch, if you really want a haircut, I mean, if you pay somebody, you pay. I, you know, what? I, I thought about cutting my own hair. And listen, when it comes to comes down to it, I don't have any issue with my wife, who is in this uh, chat right here, cutting my Thanks. hair. Thanks. I just want to let yeah. you know, I don't, it'll grow back. Um, in some people's instances, it might not. Jimmy, I don't know how your situation's going, but listen, it'll grow back. All right. That's what I'm saying. Dude. <laughs> okay. So you Lynch, shave your whole head Lynch, while you're sleeping. Lynch, let Sarah cut your hair. It's as simple as that. Listen, you're not going out yeah, that often. And fine. when you are, no one's looking at you because they're afraid they're going to get COVID. So look, it's not a big deal. Uh, Luke in the chat Doyle, says, Doyle, let me, let me cut your hair. I, dude, I'll let you, you can cut my hair over Fuck Zoom. Out. That's fine. I'll hold. Let the, me do it. I'll hold the scissor up, and you just tell me when, and I'll cut, and it'll be that Perfect. simple. That's, that's how people. <laughs> Let's are make it happen. Hairs. It's gonna be awesome. Uh, Luke. <laughs> Luke says Blake is growing his hair out. Blake, is that true? You're just gonna go. You're just gonna let it fly. I mean, it is looking a little bit. That's oh, not bad. A little bit longer, I know. No, you've had longer. I've seen it longer. That pause. <laughs> Uh, all right. <laughs> all right. The last category is animals. Um, and it's going back to Jimmy first overall. You have the entire animal kingdom. Although we did have the caveat, and I'm not going to put it in the recap post because I, I just don't want to clutter it. But I told everybody when, they, when we got in here, non-domesticated animals, which really at the end of the day, I just didn't want you picking dog or cat. 
I just because that to me Ooh. is a cheat code. It's a cheat code. <laughs> you have the entire animal oh, kingdom. Man. Entire the whole list. wild yeah. animals. Blake's like, I can't pick Corgi. What the f? Uh, no. <laughs> right? No, but seriously, I just wanted to get. I just wanted to get that out of the way because listen, somebody sees dog in a vote, they're like, oh, I dog. You know, I have a cat or whatever. You know, that's how I it dog. works. Which, by the way, I dog. <laughs> one I of the worst dog. toys they ever made. That thing was trash. Hell yes. Uh, I do remember that. Yes. Okay. So just don't pick dog, don't pick cat. That's pretty much at the end of the non-domesticated animals. Uh, so you have run of the board. Any animal. This is, this is basically I'm asking you what your favorite animal is right now, Jimmy. And we're yep, all going to judge the, you. And the top, the top one's my favorite animal. It might not be anybody else's top, but this has been my favorite animal for a while. Um, I got to go with a penguin. Penguin. Oh, so nice. Good. It's a great one. Wow. What kind of penguin? Emperor. Uh, <laughs> No, that's good. Happy Feet's a fantastic movie. Uh, and so is, Your what's the other one? Surf's Up? Is that the one where it's like surfing? Surf's yeah. Up. That's underrated. a good one. Yeah. That's an underrated For sure. one. Okay, so Penguin, first animal off the board. I'm impressed. That's uh, that's pretty solid pick. Uh, but it's also not on my list, so ha ha. Uh, Vince, you are up. Oh, wow. Penguins are off the board. I know you're in shambles. What you picking? <sighs> Those damn penguins. Um... I'll go with my girlfriend's favorite animal. Oh, look at this guy. Wait, and how is it not a... your favorite animal, though? I'm thinking about her. Oh, okay. so <laughs> All right. I'm, I'm going to go with a giraffe. The nice. giraffe. All right. Just an awkward looking animal, but it is really cool. It's like, uh, I don't know. Every time I see those things in person, and you could do the, if you're a fed one, it's, no, I have. their tongues oh, well, are got to be like the yeah, dumbest yeah. things I've ever seen in my entire life. It's uh, ridiculous. It's yeah. just everywhere. <laughs> yeah, they got the like the weirdest purple tongue. But uh, okay, that's a good pick, giraffe. I am curious to know what your favorite animal is, and it sounds like it's something that might be off or that you can wait on. You think? Yeah, you, of course. You just prioritizing a little differently. That's okay. Uh, okay, I'm I'm up, and luckily I have a pick before my wife because I think she was a fan of these too. It's I, I found out when I was. Do, I don't want to give away my draft strategy, but I'm a big power animal guy. Okay, I just, I like meat. I like weight. Just ignore everything I just said. You, you, you like get what girth? I'm saying. Yes, it's, <laughs> I, also, I also like blubber. And uh, mm. I got to tell you, I'm an orca whale kind of guy. All right, I'm, that's my pick. I'm picking the orca whale. To me, and honestly, if you look it up, I think it's the apex predator, maybe on the entire planet. All right, you think a shark owns the ocean? Sharks run from orca whales, okay? They're assholes. They're like just legit assholes. Uh, if you ever watch a video of an orca yeah. whale toying with a seal or yeah. they're just so they're just they're just so <laughs> smart and they're so big, but they also don't like really attack humans. I think that's that's awesome. So, they're they're my favorite animal and I'm glad to have them. And on that note, Kristen, sea world's calling. Take that. Yes, yeah, sea world's <laughs> like, yeah, hey, uh, they're really cool. Please give us money. Uh, okay. <laughs> Kristen, you're up. Orca whales are off. Ha, ha, ha. Sorry, I got thrown off. I like the order got mixed up in my head. Um, oof. Dolphin, for oh, sure. All right. We got the aquatic it's animal be a dolphin. run. Dolphins are awesome. We uh, we were lucky enough to actually swim with some dolphins. Have you guys ever done that? Like, yeah. was it Adventure Cove or whatever that is uh, in Orlando? Was it, co is that what uh, it is? Uh, Dis uh, Discovery, Discovery Cove. Cove. Yeah. That's it. That That's place really is awesome. Uh, you get yeah. to kind of like, it's it's basically, you get to snorkel and like swim with dolphins and other, other yeah. uh, fish and stuff like that too, without any of the risk of being eaten alive by a great white shark. So that's mm. awesome. It was, it was a lot of fun. And a great moment in my life because dolphins were are my favorite animal, um, but it was also terrifying knowing like how smart they are and they can be they can be a little aggressive. Yeah, well. yeah, they're <laughs> it's it's pretty they're fun. They're they're also they feel really weird. It's like mm -hmm. it's like wet but not wet rubber. I don't even. It's like the weirdest feeling. They're very strong. Yes. Uh. Yeah. They're just one big muscle. Uh. Speaking of muscle, Blake, you are up. Uh, you have the first back-to-back, -back, and before you pick, Alyssa in the chat says, if Blake grows out his hair, I'm going to cut it in his sleep. 
So just, I don't know. Hey, listen, I know she's not in the room with you right now, but that's just that's, I'm not not that, that's just the what that marinade. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Blake, uh, so you're up. Uh, I'm actually glad we get to pick two right here because uh, both are in like the top of my list. Um, I'm gonna have to go with the first one, uh, Kangaroo. Oh, that's solid. Good one. That's a solid. And I chose that one because one that's one of my favorite animals, and two. I want to visit Australia. Like that's another one of those countries that's on my bucket list. Australia, again, that's, I don't know why. Australia is like one of my, if you asked if I could go anywhere, I know my wife is not going to like this, but I'm not picking Europe. Uh, I, I would I would pick Australia. I don't know why. It just seems like, just keep me away from like the giant spiders and like things that can kill me. Yeah. But I just exactly. want to, I want to wake up, walk outside and play with some wild kangaroos um, or, or nice. they'll just probably kill me, beat, or beat me up or something. All right, I don't Blake. think you realize how aggressive <laughs> some animals are. Listen, That's I'm a what naive, concerns me. I'm a naive <laughs> American and I'm allowed to do that. All right. Come on. Mm-hmm. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> all right. Uh, kangaroo Blake, you have one more pick before we uh, uh, first pick the second round. Yeah, I'm going to tell you something. This next animal, I fell in love with it the first time I saw it. Oh boy. Um, I'm going to go with the uh, red panda. The Those red guys panda. I used to have. Are the cutest little things you'll ever see. It's like, um, yeah, it's like a I'm little pocket you. panda. They are adorable. Yeah. And if you if you haven't seen one, obviously they're not like a traditional panda. They're not black and white. They're not yeah. big. You should look it up. It's almost like if a panda bear and a raccoon mated. Yeah, because they actually have a tail, <laughs> which is kind of cool too. <laughs> Don't visualize it, but just imagine the offspring. Okay, There's, just get from 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 A to C without thinking of B. You'll you'll understand. That's it. Uh, awesome. All right, Kristen, dolphin, and now your second pick for your animal trio. I'm gonna go with a sea otter. Oh, a sea otter. They're so cute, and there's places where you can hang out in a pool with them, and I really want to do that. That'd be yes. Cool. That's good. So you're just you're 100 percent in the water right now, which is cool. You don't obviously have to have diversity, but yes, otters are freaking adorable. That's fine. Uh, by the way, in the chat, Don says a dolphin feels like a black olive. That's that's probably the best description. I think that's pretty good. Yeah. That's a yeah. Just imagine if a black olive was just like had like about 12 inch thick of muscle right under it so like there's there's a little bit of resistance and then it's that's still the texture of a black olive that's about right they're beautiful animal. uh lynch is in the chat right now he's super excited about the otter pick so congratulations i think you just secured lynch's vote um i don't know why i'm stalling it's my pick uh okay orca whale was what i went with first and i'm glad to see the number two animal on my big board and again i'm a power animal guy all right so this is uh i don't i don't know why it's a bear, but it's of the polar variety. I'm taking the polar bear. Damn. Polar bear, bear, man. It's the best bear. It really is the best bear. I mean, listen, grizzlies are cool and all. They killed, or they almost killed Leonardo DiCaprio. But I don't know. Polar bear, to me, is where it's at. I'm, I think they're really cool. And, uh, I mean, that's it. That's all. I, what else do I have to say? That's pretty much it. Uh, Vince, giraffe, uh, which specifically is your girlfriend's favorite animal, you made the conscious decision not to pick yours. You're going to let yeah. us know when you do, though, right? <laughs> maybe. 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 I, or maybe I don't know he if won. I'm going to pick it. Maybe he's just trying to secure the girlfriend boat, which is fine. But, yeah, go, uh, go ahead. I'm, I'm trying to think of what I want to do. I think I might go with um, a wolf, you know, All being right. from Alaska, you know, just seeing stuff like that. It's just it's crazy. It's fascinating. I said, don't pick dog, guy. What are you doing? No, I'm just kidding. Yeah, no. Right. no, wolves are not a dog. Please don't approach them and try to pet them or tell them to sit because you'll probably die. Uh, okay, so giraffe, wolf. That's that's a that's a solid little lineup right there. Uh, Jimmy started this draft off with the penguin, and now you have obviously you've seen what's off the board now, but you have free range. You can just pluck two animals out of the kingdom to wrap up your squad. Pretty pissed you took polar bear. Ah, uh, see, I, you know what? <laughs> I looked up when I said it, and Aren't you were all? like visibly shook. You're like, "Well, okay. all right, man, all right." <laughs> but I'm gonna go. I actually put this. It was on the bottom of my list, but I put it towards the top now, just because it it is something that's important to humans because it provides us with something. 
provides us with some honey and beeswax. I'm going to go with the honey bee. Okay, so now here we have our first controversy. All right. It's a great, is that considered an animal or is that an insect? That, see, that's what I was. Uh, I thought it was an animal. It, are all living creatures are animal kingdoms? Is that what you want to do? Is it, I mean, listen, I'll concede it if you want. We can talk about it in the chat, obviously. That's fine. That's is fine. a honeybee an animal? Or is it's it? It's in the animal kingdom, but I understand what you're saying but, about yeah, insects. I guess if you go down far enough, insects is its own thing. Insects technically probably could be in it. But yeah. I don't want to listen. I don't want to take it from you. Obviously, it's a crucial. Uh, I was going to say grasshopper next, so. You were going to say grasshopper? No, I'm kidding, bro. <laughs> this guy's like, I'll take one dung beetle, please. Without them, there'd be poop everywhere. Um, you, I mean, if you take it away, I have two others. Okay, well, Lynch I, in I the chat take. says I'm it's not... an insect. I don't know. I, but is fine. an insect an animal? That's, see, that's the thing. I think we we might have to like do a quick Google search here. Hold on, hold on. You want to you have two, in there, Google. You have two picks. I, unless you're going to pick two bugs, you can go no. with the other. Okay, just do I got, the other one I right got a couple others. So just pick um, one right now until we figure out this uh, this honeybee thing. Let me go with uh, I'm gonna go with the Arctic fox. Oh, Ooh, that's a good one. one. I want to know. Okay, that's oh, a Arctic all right. That's a sweet look. And I'm gonna leave a space here because you that obviously you picked. Let's see. All right, that's a good pick. I don't want to just. I'm 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 also distracted that's here. <laughs> I had to Google search it because I'm genuinely curious. Uh, the Lynch household, both of them say it's an insect, but they're not the end all be all. Maybe they've been Google searching. I don't know. According to this, are insects animals from yeah. Jessica town who writes for the medium, which is obviously the most credible website you can con like find animal stuff with insects are also animals, but they diverge from humans and are classified as arthropods. Which okay that so that we're just getting real like I mean well things can be animal animals. or plant that's true. animal or plant <laughs> okay you're oh. right so we'll give you honeybee man we'll give it to you I, I don't want to take that away from you because that is a good pick and and they are important so I was gonna say I have it if it's if people nah, say it's, it's insect then that's it, good man what lives. I got was an animal is any organism that moves um, Venus flytrap. Yeah. No. <laughs> okay. <laughs> no, no, no. That one's gonna confuse me now. All right. Uh, yeah. Okay. L uh, Lisa in the chat, which is my aunt here, says an insect is an animal. So, and Nikki even is in here. Insects are animals. So, Jimmy, we're not gonna take it away from uh, you. There we go. It would have taken a lot to get that away from you too. So, I, I mean, I'm just, I just wanted to be thorough. Wanted to get the chat involved. And uh, the verdict is, Lynch is pissed at you for picking it. Everybody else says it's an animal. Uh, okay. So you have penguin, honeybee, arctic fox. Real quick before we leave the honeybee chat, I saw something yesterday. It freaking blew my mind. It was a video of this wasp in the middle of a bunch of honeybees, and it decided to just grab one of them and, like, just kill it because wasps are assholes. Uh, and, it, dude, this thing is, like, we're talking wasp this big and, like, be the size of, like, the I don't know, the tip of my pinky. Anyway, it grabbed it, and all the other honeybees – swarmed up on it but they didn't stab it like they didn't they didn't try to pierce it because they can't apparently when they do that and they do this to to ward off other other creatures that they can do this obviously if it gets too big it's not they vibrate they use their wings and their bodies and they vibrate it to literally cook what's inside they can like mm. get the temperature so hot where it will literally melt the innards of i, I was like what the hell am i watching <laughs> anyway that's crazy so that's what I was doing yesterday. I don't know what you guys are up to. Uh, so, Honeybee, good pick. Uh, Vince, giraffe. I don't even know how to How do you follow, follow that up? <laughs> this freaking honeybee can literally melt the inside of other bugs. Uh, whatever. Uh, grasshopper, Vince. Innards. Take the grasshopper. Take the grasshopper. Dang, mantis. <laughs> um, one of my favorite animals is actually a pig, but I'm not going to pick it. Damn it. That's a good one. Well, okay, this guy's like, I just want everybody to know. <laughs> I like this animal, I, this animal, but I don't, I don't, I can't pick I it just because it won't look good on the paper. Farm animals. <laughs> There's the farm animal no. I was, I'm considering. I'm just saying. No, the reason why I say that is because people have domestic pigs now. Like oh, they listen, just. I that's, told you that's why. That's why I didn't pick it. I told you why though. I wanted to say I, in the, uh, off the record. I, I just said no domesticated animals. I just didn't want people picking cats or dogs. There's wild pigs out there. I'm just saying. 
I mean, there's wild dogs yeah. too. The boar. Don't pet them. Yeah. No, you know, I'm not well, forcing you to pick them. You, if you want to go somewhere else, pivot. Mm, this is tough. Mm. It is tough. I'm gonna go with. I'm gonna go with a shark. Always been just like a big just a shark. Or you want like? No, like. Um, I mean, you can pick like just, a mako shark. Okay, I just need to know what to put on the graphic. That's it. So if you have, if no, you have a, a, specific... a mako shark. All right, right there. Aren't those like the most asshole? Wait, isn't there like one that's like just specifically goes out of its way bull. to kill stuff? Oh, the bull shark. Oh, bull. Yeah. Yeah. Bull Makos are the, 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 the Makos are over in the um, Atlantic. Nice. I've never seen one, so. Well, I'm, I, I, luckily, I, I I don't want to see any sharks. <laughs> I mean, other than like the aquarium, <laughs> but yeah. You know what I mean. Yeah. No, I get it. That's a good I'm one. Person. Okay. I'm up, and I have to finish my team off. It's the orca whale. It's the polar bear. And this is this is the hardest choice for me because there's one that would just look awesome, and I love the way they look, and I think they're just like – it's pretty unanimous. Everybody would be like, that's a sick animal. But in my heart of hearts, if I did not pick this animal and spread some awareness about this animal, because oh I don't think gosh. a lot of people know these suckers <laughs> exist, okay? And, and listen, when I say it, you're going to be like, that's not even a real animal. You're, it I, is. It's a gonna, real animal. You're going to have to work and look it up. The pangolin is uh, one what? of the Jeez. coolest animals I've ever seen. And if anybody sees one out in the wild, don't kill it. All right? That's all I got to say. I'm not doing my this part. This man has two shirts. <laughs> two different shirts. Pangolins, a stuffed animal, and I adopted one on his behalf for his birthday. Yes. Pangolins. <laughs> you guys, I don't know if you can look it up right now. The P-A-N-G-O. L I N S. They're you're so proud of this. They're just fascinating creatures. They're like armadillos, but they can run on their hind legs sometimes, and they have this weird. T yes, look at those things. There it is. They're awesome, and they can curl up into a ball and just protect themselves. I I can't get over how cool these things are. I, I think. Yeah, I think they're one of the most illegally COVID. traded animals too. Yeah. Lynch says pangolins started COVID. I'm they so pissed. <laughs> I'm so pissed right now. But no, listen. And so did 5G. <laughs> yes. 5G, those towers. <laughs> we got to get those suckers down. Uh, actually, could we get some more towers up? Because I feel like my uh, freaking uh, phone is not working when I leave the house and leave the Wi Fi. But that's another podcast. <laughs> okay. So I'm putting pangolin on my list, and I could not be happier to have just a trio of animals that I absolutely love. Kristen, you have dolphin, you have sea otter, and what else? I was just so invested in everyone else's picks that I got mixed up. I can Do you want me to run my list um, out to you? Yeah. No. no okay. I'm okay. Um, no, I think I'm going to go with, I was going to go with another aquatic animal, but I'm going to mix it up because you made me feel bad about that. Oh, you don't, definitely uh, don't have to. Just I mean, kidding. On. I'm just kidding. <laughs> I'm going to go with a macaw. A macaw. Ooh. All right. Yes. I know that sometimes they can be domesticated, but. But I mean, I, I, I bet you there's up. more out in the <laughs> wild than there is in people's houses. So yeah. Hopefully. I mean, yeah, that would be pretty messed up. Right. But no, macaws are awesome. Um, really cool birds and obviously very smart. Um, and they look really pretty in the, in the wing so area. So that's cool. Pretty birds. Pretty bird. Uh, okay. Blake, kangaroo, red panda, and what other Australian Ugh. creature? No, I, I I I think red pandas are uh, Asian. But that's fine. Um, I have a lot of good ones still on my list. Oh, humble brag oh, over here, good. this guy. All right, <laughs> weird <kinda> hard. <laughs> <laughs> oh boy. Mm. Dang, this is this is really hard. You gonna pick the girlfriend's favorite animal? Don't mess oh, this up. Wow. Don't mess wow. this up. <laughs> Just kidding. God's fire. He's like, no, she's gonna cut my hair when I'm sleeping. Uh, <laughs> what you got? I'm gonna have like? to go with the jaguar. Ooh, That's a good one. Not Jacksonville. Like Jacksonville. Yes, so many in Jacksonville. Um, there's at least 52, I think, in Jacksonville. Um, reported to to training camp. Um, no. Uh, yeah, the jaguar. No, that's uh, that's a good pick. Obviously, <laughs> I'm talking about football players and the size of an NFL roster. It might be 54 now, but anyway, jaguars is a solid pick. I'll stop rambling. Uh, real quick, we didn't do it with elements because I don't really care. I mean, like, no one really cares about what was left because there's just uh, there's so many weird elements. And fruits, I think we got a lot of the main ones there. 
But with animals, yeah. we left a lot off the board, and I think there's some mm -hmm. people who are in the chat that were like, they were saying other things, they wanted other things, and we did not deliver. But I wanted to just get it off my chest. It was pangolin here, white tiger here. White tiger yeah. Yeah. are freaking awesome. I had a Bengal tiger on mine. Yeah, tiger, so. just in general. The yeah. fact that tiger went yeah. undrafted is... I is, had a liger. No, I'm kidding. Well, this man's like, give me the hybrid. <laughs> nice. Oh. I figured well, somebody was going to go... Exotic right there. I think it's going to take tigers. elephant too. Elephant, um, it's like yeah, it's yeah, it's fifth on my list, dude. I got my top three, yeah. and I'm so happy. But yeah. Nikki's saying octopus. They're o very smart. Yo, yeah, octopus cool. on my list. <laughs> they're they're. I swear, to, they're if there's aliens on Earth, it's an octopus. Those things don't. They're not supposed to be here. Uh, well, we know there's aliens on Earth. Well, yeah, obviously we know, but <laughs> we know that the most the out there and exposed, it's got to be the octopus. Uh, also, no one picks sloth. Yeah, that was one. Yeah, I thought somebody yeah. was going to pick sloth for sure. Pretty I was crazy. between sloth. macaw and sloth. Yeah, the bottom of my list. Can okay? Here's real quick. You guys have. I mean, if you have more on your list, or if you, if you don't, let me know. I want to know what was at the bottom of your list. What were you just like throwing in to get to 15? What's like the last two on each mm. of your list, Jimmy? Like, what's mm. what? What do you got? I got so many on the bottom of my list. I have. <laughs> you printed out the so, entire list of every animal. Like, the whole bottom of this page is the yeah. bottom of the list of me. So I have a bison, a narwhal, dude, panda, Sorry. koala, rhino, a gorilla, a sea lion, <laughs> sea turtles, a seal, a puffin, and an alligator. I, I didn't think of sea turtles. That should have been on my list. Sea turtles are awesome. Uh, Nikki and the cat. Uh, wait, uh, Don says alpacas. Nikki says llamas. Ooh. I don't know where we're at right now, but a lot of those like those things that spit are in the uh, in the chat. So, yeah, dude, I had bison on my list. I freaking love bison. I oh, think they, they they look so they're cool. Pretty cool. Yeah. They're cool. They're awesome. Uh, I had the traditional cow on my list because they're just amazing creatures. Same. And uh, I want to hug one. Uh, moose, a moose. They're freaking humongous. But again, mm -hmm. that's I don't know what it is. I'm fascinated with power power animals. I had a reindeer. Reindeer, that those are. I'm sorry. Reindeer is at the bottom of my list. <laughs> those are. Real. I'm not gonna lie. I had beaver, uh, beaver, horse, lemur, sugar glider, sloth. And sugar tiger. glider. That's a uh, that's a tiny little big pick fan right of the there. lemur. Big fan. Oh, of the yeah. lemur. I wanted to pick a bird, but I no one took any of my top three, so I didn't have to pivot there. But I, would, I had falcon on mine. Falcons are sick. I had a hawk too. Yeah, I had bald eagle just because freaking America. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But my favorite birds, <laughs> other than the other than the one that is you know our pet here in the house, which is a conure, uh, which I would not pick because obviously she's sound asleep right now. Super like, domesticated. So uh, but I, the pelican to me, I don't know why. Yeah. They're my they're my favorite bird. I think they're like the every white time pelicans I, are yeah. pretty cool. They're awesome. Rest in peace, the pelican peats. Yeah, also, oh Pelican my Pete's, my mm. God. Oh my God. Yeah. Throw yeah. Back in the chat for Pelican Pete's. <laughs> oh. Rest in peace. Rest in peace. Pelican <laughs> Pete's. If you take anything away from this, it's Pelican Pete's. Uh, Kristen, I'll let you know what Pelican Pete's was back in the day. And I'm, I'm sure it's some kind of Englewood reference as per usual. Yeah, it is. <laughs> yeah, it is. Why do uh, I surround myself? Stealth with you angle with people. Oh my god. All right, you just alienated <laughs> just everybody in our, our, our <laughs> literally chat. everyone. Yeah. yeah, 90% of the people I went to college with. Any votes you are were going to get, they're gone. Uh so way to go. Uh, <laughs> good Pete's. Uh, oh my gosh. Okay. Uh Nikki, I'm just I'm just reading Nikki's comments. He says the his favorite gif is the llama spitting. Uh anytime you say something that Nikki disagree disagrees with. You get the spit llama gif, and it's just, it's disgusting. Uh, okay, mm. this has obviously been fun. The elements, uh, take it or leave it, but it'll be, it'll be fun uh, <laughs> to, to make that graphic. You'll be able to vote right here on Facebook and on Instagram. Don't double vote, but just pick a freaking platform and vote. Um, wow. Yeah, I means it's like, or make a new account and vote for Vince. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah. No, at the Chunk Pod. Use your fence, though. Yeah. At, at the Chunk Pod and, and <laughs> vote with your heart. Again, we say this every week vote with your heart, not just because you're related to Lynch. Um, and that's pretty much it. <laughs> wow. No, I'm kidding. No, obviously, obviously, Lynch you has a lot of family. Vote too. I know I lost the Lynch family vote. No, I, I appreciate them listening, obviously. Uh, but he's in the chat right now. And obviously, he's probably going to be upset that I said that. But I love you, Lynch. I love you, Lynch family. Um, thank you for watching the drafters live and I'm just going to play this. Wait, real quick, Jimmy, your first time doing this. How does it feel? Yep. It was awesome.
You had, had a good fun. time. We had a lot of fun. It's better. It's better to be on than actually watch it every week and okay. have to be the one that votes for everybody. Yes. All right. Well, good thing uh, I got good news for you. Uh, you're back to the couch next week. So uh, oh, that's how that's how we operate. Here. <laughs> that's how it goes. <laughs> that's how we goes. It's like you're on the show, and then next week you have to watch to see if you won. That's I'll how be back is. in week twelve. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You'll weeks. be back. We'll, we'll figure out some more categories. Which, by the way, this is something I haven't done on a on an episode, and I keep I keep not doing it for some reason because I'm dumb, or I forget and I don't write it down. If you guys have topics that you want us to draft, feel free to send it to us. You can message us or you can say it right here in the chat. Um, anything that is, if you're just thinking about something, you're looking out a window and you're like, this would be fun to do uh, types of brick, which obviously would be a horrible thing to draft. But for example, types of brick, uh, cobblestone, which is not a brick. It's a stone. This has gone very poorly and I would like to leave now. Uh, okay, Great. it's been a good episode. Dan, the dra- <laughs> uh, Adam Sandler movies in the chat. It's on our list uh, of, of things to do. Adam Sandler has a buttload of I movies. Love that. That's going to be a good one for sure. So we will be doing that one in the future. Um, How do we feel about dinosaurs? Dinosaurs would be solid Ooh. as well. Yes, I may have drafted one. No, in like the penguin. three. Um, yeah. Have you seen Jurassic Park? That's all they show is raptors, Tyrannosaurus Rex, and then raptors one that on poops. raptors. On raptors. <laughs> <laughs> this is all raptors. That's all. That's all that was ever out there. All right, Blake. Uh, I, I pray for your hair. I hope it lasts through the night. Uh, obviously, Jimmy, Vince, Kristen. I can't wait to see you in literally one minute. Uh, so uh, thank you guys for watching, and we'll wrap this one up. I'm gonna play this little music here, and uh, we're all gonna go enjoy our evening. See you guys later. Follow us on the Chunk Pod. Or yes. any other social media platform. <laughs> I don't know. Omegle. I don't know. What is it? Uh, Snapchat. Oh, Pangolin. Oh, oh, Pang- I- wherever. Chat roulette. <laughs> Chat roulette. Okay, we gotta get out of here. <laughs> Ugh.